Hi everybody and welcome to another week of Feature Friday. This week we're going to be talking about some lighting products here. We have the Energizer Vision Headlamp, which is kind of your good basic entry level one. And we've got the Stream Light, the Haslow unit here. And then we also have Milwaukee's Spiller Red Lithium USB rechargeable headlamp. So the Energizer unit, like we mentioned, it is kind of a more entry level unit here. Pricing is really great for what it offers. It does have a pivoting head. It's got two light output modes. It's got a low and a high output. You get 50 meter beam distance, uh, the 200 lumens, and that's on the high output mode up to about seven hours. And then if you wanna go to the low output mode, you're usually gonna see about 45 lumens of output. So it's not super, super bright, but you can get up to 20 hours roughly of battery life on that, which is really great uh, they do supply the batteries just to get you kicked off here so it is just you know kind of replace batteries as need be and they do boast the ipx4 rating just for a little bit of that weather resistance for the rain or shine conditions the strap you know comfortable basic kind of adjustable one size fits all so yeah this is a great unit like we said good pricing good offering for what it is you know it's, it's nothing too too flashy but i mean hey drop tested you know for about a one meter drop it's it, it's got the gist of what you really need for something to get you started and again for the price point you can't really go wrong so now we get into some of the fancier headlights that we have here at Macmore. So the first one we're getting it into that's a little bit more high end is going to be your stream lights. This is the Haslow unit. So this is actually has the intrinsically safe feature, which is really what makes this, you know, special for what it is. Obviously you got a nice pivoting head on this. So the adjustability is great for batteries. They do come included and you basically just refill a little kind of cartridge that kind of slides into the side here. As you can see rubber gasketing and everything here. So it does have some of that weather resistance as well. But when we're talking about the compliance here, so it does have the compliance for intrinsically safe, the class one division one. So again, this is what's really important for people in kind of different industries like mining and things like that. So who really need that intrinsically safe. It doesn't have a bunch of output modes for different kind of fancy settings. It honestly has on and it has off. I'm not gonna shine it into you guys' eyes here or anything like that, but it, it is just basically run of the mill as far as that goes. Now, what's nice about the Streamlight unit as well is that it actually does come with two different types of straps that you can put on. So the basic strap that you see that's already on here is actually the head strap. It is actually kind of a, a basically side and a top headed strap just for kind of a proper anchoring. Now, if you're needing to use this with a hard hat, which a lot of people in our industries are going to be needing, the Streamlight, you know, they actually do provide the rubber strap here and this is for latching this onto your hard hat if you need it so it does have those kind of nice options that come additionally again very popular unit for the intrinsically safe needs you know price point wise obviously it's, it is definitely a little bit more expensive but as always you get what you pay for and so as far as it goes for the outputs though it is 120 lumens can run time up to about 11 hours on that output drop testing wise in terms of the you know the wear and tear conditions it does have a one meter drop test rating on it and like we said it does have some resistance from the elements as far as the build too it does have the polycarbonate lens so that just makes it a little bit extra durable uh, the led technology that they're using in the bulb as well they claim has about you know 50,000 hours roughly of lifetime so should need to worry about having to replace the unit just on its own for that sake uh, you know anytime soon all right, and last but not least, we're gonna get into the Milwaukee one here. So obviously Milwaukee is very well known for its different kind of lighting products and as well as just generally its power tool series. So this particular unit here is powered by the red lithium USB, as you can see, it's even imprinted here. So you do get the two foot braided cord that it actually comes with. Nicely Milwaukee branded and everything as well. So you do plug it in, you get your light indicator here that'll show you the charging conditions. So, you know, you got green, you got red for the different indicators for charging or, you know, charge it up and all those types of things. This is definitely the kind of light that has multiple output modes. Uh, so when you turn it on, you can definitely kind of click the different modes and you'll see right there, you get your different flashes. Now, the, the lumens will actually vary, obviously, based on the different settings. So without getting into the too much nitty gritty of listing every different options in every different thing, we're actually gonna post a table that you guys are gonna be able to kind of quickly see to compare all three units. It'll also be featured in, in the blog post that we're gonna do quickly. But uh, yeah, those are some of the things that you kind of want to watch out for when it comes to, you know, the light outputs modes for this particular unit. Now, additionally, with the design of the Milwaukee headlamp here, we're just going to touch on a couple other nice features that it has. So you do have the rubber padding here, which is going to make it ideal for kind of a nice anchoring onto the hard hat and not really slipping. This is also nice if you're going to choose to wear this on your head directly as opposed to a hard hat, because you technically can. Uh, these are the hard hat clips that actually comes in the packaging as well. These are convenient, obviously, for latching on to the sides of the hard hat. Again, not needed. You can actually 
pop these off if you want to. They just kind of sit on the strap. You do get four in the packaging. We've got three just latched on here just for showcasing it. You know, depending on how you want to anchor it, we found that three is actually typically pretty pretty solid. You also get the nice kind of rubber gripping inside the strapping here that they've added. So again, really well thought out. You got your pivoting head here, uh, as always, as you can expect from, you know, any higher end work light. So yeah, overall, definitely a great unit. It does have IP54 rating for the dust and water resistance. As you even handle this thing, it's solid. It's got some weight to it, and it does have a lot of the rubber kind of gasketing, and everything's really nice and rubber sealed. So overall, really good unit. So those are the headlamps, folks. We really hope you guys enjoy the video. Quick one for you today. We're just really wanting to focus on some of the lighting solutions that we offer. We've got a lot more lighting products that we're gonna get into at a later time. So please stay tuned for those. So hope you guys enjoy the video. If you have any questions, reach out to us. Please like and subscribe if you can, it does help us out. But in the meantime, you guys stay safe, stay warm out there as it cools down and you know, keep your work set lit up. All right, thanks folks, have a good one. Take care.